Hello and welcome to round three of your first move it project. Um, this time we're going to be talking about planning around objects. So it's pretty normal in uh, a system where you're using move it that you'll have some sort of perception system or some way to like learn about your environment before you plan. Um, you think about industrial settings or warehouse settings, it might be boxes or things around your robot that you want to move around or maybe even manipulate. Um, we'll get to manipulating later, but uh, we're going to focus on moving around objects that are uh, and putting them in the scene. So, first thing we have to do is add them to the planning scene. The planning scene is is just a description of the world that we use to plan. Um, we need to add this planning scene interface uh, to be able to interact with it. Um, so I'm going to copy that line and I'm going to come over here. Um, I'm going to add that. That's just part of move it. You already have that. Uh, the next thing is I'm, I'm going to change the Y position of the target pose. This is important to show you it moving around the box. So it was uh, negative 0.2. We're going to go to 0 0.4. So that's here. All right. You see that? All right. Uh, next, we're going to create a collision object. This looks like a lot of code, and it really is, but um, there's a lot you have to specify when uh, creating an object. And in this case, we're using a primitive, um, a box primitive, and the box primitive type has three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. They're in meters. We're gonna create a box that X is at 0.5, 0.1 and 0.5. Um, we have to give it a name. It's a collision object. We have to put it in a specific frame. So in this case, we're gonna I'm gonna put it in the planning frame. Uh, that's the base of the robot. Um, we get that from the move group interface. Um, the then we need an orientation, right? And in this case, it's gonna set it to the unit. Um, turn in so it's not rotated from the base frame at all and an x y and z position for our box uh, lastly one thing really important is that we have to so right the object has a primitive and it has a pose uh, we need to set the operation to add there's a, several different operations um, you use these to add and remove things from the collision object to attach them to the robot all sorts of stuff like that anyway so then we return this. Here's another one of those immediately invoked lambda expressions to create this const collision object. All right, now we have to add it to the planning scene, which is the next bit of code. We have this thing that makes it that um, implements the code to interact with the planning scene. Um, let, remember, we're planning with that uh, the ROS node that was started with Arviz called Move Group, and so we have to send messages. And so, really, what we're doing is we're constructing a message that we're going to send before we start planning. Um, Arviz will also render this object, and that's it. We just got to build this thing. Um, and once it finishes building, uh, we will run it. You'll see it in our biz. Uh, this is the last of the tutorials. After this, there is a tutorial for the Move It Task Constructor. I encourage you to go do that tutorial. The Move It Task Constructor is a higher level tool that helps with solving more complex problems like pick and place than just simple motion plans. Uh, so here, we'll run Hello Move It. Uh, of course, it tells us to hit next. We'll come back over to our biz. Uh, remember, this is the situation we were in. Um, we'll hit next. It's gonna plan. Planning has failed. And that's because the robot is like embedded in this collision object now. Um, I don't think we can get it to work. We might have to restart everything. Um, let me try it again. I bet it will just fail reliably because it's now in collision with this object we put in. Yep, okay. So, we're going to restart our viz, which will put the robot back at a or normal position. All right, so our is just initializing. Um, I'm going to have to move, come back over here. Um, right, uh, here's 
here's our vids. Um, remember, we need to add um, marker array. Uh, in the future, you could save your Arvis config so that this is uh, this setup is saved. It's Arvis Visual Tools. If I remembered correctly, and then we need to add the panel. Um, let me verify that it was Arvis Visual Tools. If we go back here. Remember, uh, it was Arvis Visual Tools. All right, cool. Okay. So, we're all set up. We can run it. And there is our collision object. And we're going to plan a move to the right of it. I hit next. It's going to plan. Um, and there is our move. It's a complicated move to be able to put the uh, robot arm right next to it there. We'll do the execution. And that is it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed doing these tutorials. You should walk through them on, yourself, on your own and read through the code. Uh, there are many more examples in the tutorial site that give you much more power. Um, these were just meant to inspire confidence and introduce you to the uh, broader strokes of what Move It can do, but there are many more tutorials that give you much more fine-grained control of various things. Um, here are some links here. And then the next thing is the pick-and-place uh, tutorial with Move It Task Constructor. You should also come and do this tutorial. And it'll introduce you to more advanced topics. Pick and place is something that people commonly solve with Move It. Anyway, uh, if this has raised your Rasa IQ, um, if you've enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, you can find me on Discord. Um, I'm sometimes on Ross Discourse. Uh, you can find me on GitHub. Um, or just leave a comment on these videos and subscribe to find more. Thank you.